Hey guys, welcome back. Pi Day is on March 14, and any day that combines fun, education, and cake is a day worth celebrating. Pi, also known by the Greek letter Pi, is a constant value used in mathematics that represents the ratio of circle circumference to its diameter, which is only about 3.14159265359 and so on. Not only that, March 14th is also Albert Einstein's birthday, so all in all a mathematician's delight. The beautiful constant Pi is celebrated by mathematicians around the world on National Pi Day on March 14th. To learn more about Pi, we have to go back a few thousand years and learn about this elusive number. The value of Pi was first calculated by Archimedes of Syracuse in 287-212 to 212 BC, one of the greatest mathematicians of antiquity. However, it was first baptized with the Greek letter as its name when William Arthur so named it in his works of 1647 and later adopted by scientific community when Leonard Euler used the symbol in 1737. But how did Pi Day become a nationwide phenomenon? For this, we have to travel to the Exploratorium in San Francisco in 1988, where it was invented by physicist Larry Shaw. Shaw linked March 14 to the first digits of the pi, which is 3.14, to organize a special date to keep the Exploratorium staff together, where he offered fruitcake and tea to everyone starting at 1.59 p.m the following three digits of the value. A few years later, after Larry's daughter Sarah noticed that the special date was also Albert Einstein's birthday, they began celebrating the life of the world-famous scientist. Pi Day became an annual exploratorium tradition that continues to this day. And it wasn't long before the idea grew exponentially peaking on March 12, 2009 when the U.S. Congress declared it a national holiday. Now celebrated by math Greeks around the world, Pi Day has become a pop culture phenomenon, with multiple occasions participating in activities, antics, observation, and as much pie eating as possible. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to our channels and its institute on YouTube and follow our page on Facebook.